Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in this episode I think the goal is to see if we can make a um, turbine, a gas turbine controller. So what we need for that is plenty of enderium. So let's go and have a look if we can do that. I finished off the last time I did manage to get the enderium to be relatively cheap didn't I? So now if we want to go and say let's craft a hundred enderium ingots. Let's say I've got 40 odd here, but let's look if we want to craft 100. Now it's complaining because we haven't got enough sulphur. And it's actually, tin's also quite low. So let's go and fix those first of all. So what we need for that is some export buses, which we've got, yeah. And some cables, which we've got, yeah. Good, that'll do. So the way I'm doing this, here like this, we'll come over here. To extend these things, I've got basically what I'm putting is an export bus onto here. So tin is one I want to do, and sulfur is the other. Have we got sulfur anywhere here? No, it doesn't look like we have. So what I'm going to do is take this one up, move the silver and the copper and the tin. Oh, I haven't got my, my... I was doing some snow mining, as it were. What have we got in here? unlock content capacity that so let's put that one down there uh-huh yeah that's got something in it straight away which we want to get rid of so i'm going to just dis disable this for the time being i would like to have in that sil silicon don't i so where silicon no it didn't work try that one that's nickel silicon must be this one nope this one yes good Let's take a stack of silicon and put that into this interface here. Then we can, then only silicon will come in here, so we can remove this moon rock or whatever's come into here, like that. So that should, in fact, then give it silicon. In fact, and make sure that this has got a priority higher. Yes, it has. Good. So what we need to do is to carry on this bus down here like that. So what have we got in here? We've got silver. Okay, I'm going to move the silver to here. What have we got in here? Nitrate. Let's move the nitrate out of the way here. I'll put it at the end. Yeah, I'll put it down here. And this one should have the... Oops, don't want that one. Remove that one and put the next one down, which I think is tin. Good. No, actually I want the tin here. Oops. That time looking. Let's get that out of here and put the tin down. Let's put this one back. And the tin down here like that good so now we need just an export bus what have we got on this have I still got that sulfur yes I have good let's just put half the sulfur in here like that and then lock it up but we'll do that in a second so we need some cable to go down here the easiest to do on the floor then we don't have to shift and then we need two export buses coming into that like that and then we can put well we tin we need to get out of that let's put some sulfur into there first of all Finish it off. Let's take a let's take a tin out of here and put that into the export bus here like that. Finish that off and then give these a speed upgrade each. And we need another storage bus. If I've got one, yes, I've got a storage bus here, so I can put the storage bus on this copper one. Maybe it's not the best place for copper, but well, not very much. Does that not connect? Oh, yes, it does. I had to shift click it into place. So now that will keep the copper up. So this time we should be getting tin into here. Good we are. And we get it, sorry, sulfur and tin going in there nicely, which basically means this will be working away. Now there is a tip I got from Zero Life about decomposing gunpowder. And for, let's see if we can actually do that. I wonder if we can do little gunpowder chunks first of all. So what we got from gunpowder here. Okay, let's take a stack of that. And what does that used from? What's the usage of this? Or the yeah, let's look at usage because it'll make the small ones tiny. Yeah, we don't need the tiny for the time being. Should be shapeless crafting. Oh, here we are. Small com uh, small chunk piles of gunpowder. Let's just um, make one of those. I'm not sure if we can decompose the small piles. We'll see. 
We'll soon find out. So, in my decomposer here, we can put what we like, can't we? I'm not sure if they... Oh, they do. Good. In fact, let's have a look at that now. Let's have a look at the uses of this, because we want to decompose this. So that is gives me one carbon, two sulfur, and potassium nitrate, one for one gunpowder. Um, and I put four of the others in. Didn't I? What did I get in here? Oh, I got two. So that looks to me as though that's actually better. Let's just make one of those again. Just check what the uses of that is. I didn't check what the uses of these are. We know they decompose or something, so let's go backwards. Go yeah, chemical decomposer. So there's a chance it's not a guaranteed In fact. It is guaranteed, but the looks of it, it's not flashing. So let's just try that again. Put one in. Do you know? I didn't see what happened then. Okay, so you basically get, I will put one gunpowder in. So that's four, eight, and four. That's five, ten, and five. So it is better to use the small bits of gunpowder that you get when you're actually um, sieving moon dirt, which does remind me actually, I need to go and do that as well. We need to move the quarry because the quarry outside here is very big, but going quite deep now. So if I rebuild this quarry, which I could do easily enough and take it out again, then we can do some more moon dirt over there. But I'll do that off camera, I think. Don't need to do that for now. I haven't resolved the problem from last time, by the way. So let's have a look now. Let's clear that, clear that off. So that was a trip from zero, zero life, and it's something I haven't really thought about. So that's a good tip then. Very good tip. Thank you very much. Let's put these out of the way. Don't need that one. And I don't really need this few cell. We'll keep it with me for the time being. That was not used anymore. So right, let's get on with the next thing. So now I want to make Enderium, don't I? And I wanted to make a hundred last time and I was short of materials. This time I'm not short of materials because we've got all of those available. So let's start that. In fact, it's got to craft 29 of these because we've got 79 enderpearls. That's okay. We should be able to do that. Let's come over here and make sure that enderpearls are actually available. We haven't got any in yet. Tell you what we'll do. We'll cheat. Let's take a stack of that, put that into here. Oh, and now we've got it in. I'll shove this in as well, so it doesn't make any difference. So now that will start to work and give us the ender pearls that we need to, to make the rest of it. So the rest of it should be happening in here. Oh, we can see this is busy decomposing ender pearls. And that should be working, but doesn't look like it is. Maybe that's just a book problem. What's wrong with this then? Oh, blocked. So the output here is blocked for some reason or other. What's that blocked on? Oh, it should be, in fact. What's wrong with this? Maybe the recipe is not working. Let's have a look. Oh, hold on a second. We might be missing something. We're missing um, iron oxide. Okay, that's probably the problem. Let's go and get some iron oxide. Actually, I might even have some in this chest here. Yeah, lots. So what I'm going to have to do is to basically, that was a problem then. I'll take this out of that then. And they should start to make. What have we got missing? Carbon? Yeah, that's okay. Sulfur missing. Sulfur too. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm going to have to go down and fix this. That's going to be a bit of a pain actually, but it's not too difficult. Sulfur's over here, isn't it? That 
is all being processed so it's all going into sulfur is this one I think stored yeah sulfur okay so we've got four stacks that should start this process off reasonably well so basically what the idea is then don't make too much of the actual thing that we need to make so let's what else do we need hopefully we've got everything else tin we've got plutonium we've got I hope oh, we haven't got any plutonium we need some plutonium let's get some blaze rods no blaze powders Give us the plutonium we need, I think. So I really what I need to do is to this is to feed it into a chest and then take that out with a a pipe, a rationing pipe. So we need what do we else do we need? Blaze powder. Let's put the blaze powders in. Oh that's a bit full. Why is that full? Oh that's right, that's okay. We just put the blaze powders in here. We should get a stack of these plutoniums out. Let's see if we can get this progress going because otherwise we'll end up dying. Is that working this time? Tin, we've got silver. Here we've got platinum. We've got iron oxide. We've got calcium carbonate. We've got acetine. Yep, yeah, plutonium. Yep, we've got carbon. We haven't got carbon. Oh. Okay, what I'm going to do is to move some of this stuff out of here. Where did that, all that mineral come from? Oh, I know where it came from. Let's go and get some carbon from downstairs. Actually, carbon might be in here, mightn't it? Yep. So, what can, where can we put the carbon? We've got platinum, two stacks, silver. We'll take a stack of silver out. Now it's starting to move Fortunately, what are we short of next? Well, it seems to be ticking over. What have we got now that we're short of? Carbon we've got. Sulfur. I don't see any sulfur in there. Seems to be running out of sulfur most at all. Uh, probably because it's got 16 sulfurs in there, so. Okay, I have to go downstairs and get some more sulfur. I don't like doing this, this is a sort of dangerous. Because I've got about 12 minutes to make sure I get this 100 Ethereum out of the way. <laughs> So what have we got plenty of carbon carbon let's put sulfur into here like that and like that let's keep clicking that into place yeah it's always sulfur that's the problem so go downstairs and get some more sulfur in fact probably the best way to do that is to take some gunpowder out of here let's take some gunpowder out Give me 61. There's no feed on this, is there? Um, let me just split this into four and put those into there like that, and then we should get some sulfur coming out of there like that. Fact. I think that's probably the way to do this. So let's take this next set of sulfur. I've got a bit of a problem with other stuff. Let's put the carbon in there. And let's get on with this one. Next one. Oh, 
It's got 11 hours re reactivity. I don't really need to worry about that. So it's fairly less of a stress than I thought it was. Um, plutonium is actually not stacking. Let's, oh, of course it won't stack, will it? Calcium carbonate. How many have we got here? 53. So we're just about finished, I hope. Oh, in fact, of course, that's where all the ingredients are. I don't need to worry about that, do I? So it's bound to be sulfur again, because I know one of the ones which get used up most. What else is missing this time? Calcium carbonate, tin. Carbon, iron oxide, silver. We're missing plutonium's coming in there. Probably sulfur again. Let's take the sulfur out, platinum out. Let's take these out of there like that. I mean, probably that might be the best way to do this. So I've done a bit of a fail here. So what have we got? Sulfur, platinum, tin, iron oxide. We've got enough of carbon probably then. Let's get some carbon out of here. I don't know whether to cut this actually and just come back later on when it's when it's finished. Sort my inventory out. How many are we doing now? 63. So we've got about 30 odd more to go so let's take out some more of these. Sulfur we've got plenty of, carbon we've got plenty of iron oxide, plutonium, silver, tin, what am I missing, oh the one, calcium carbonate. And calcium carbonate again. So carbon we've got lots of, iron oxide we've got enough of, silver we haven't got any of, platinum looks like we haven't got any of, once we get down to a low level here it won't be a problem everything will just go through and we finish everything off. 36, that is a hundred. So there should be no more. We've got some plutonium in, plutonium in here, which is, oh, of course we have, because I made it, didn't I? Because I put blaze powders in. Let's have a look. So that's empty. So we basically just need to take that off. We'll just put the plutonium back into here like that. We can make the blaze powders back again. Yes, I took a stack of iron oxide out of there. That's probably about right then, isn't it? So I was making more of a, m a mountain out of this mole. So these things were basically here, and I was picking them out of the out of the thing, which is actually quite bad. Let's just move those back into there, and the carbon we can put into there like that. I should could have put the sulfur in there as well. Right, so that's it. We've got a hundred of these now. Twenty-two blaze powders. I'll keep the blaze powders here just in. Nope, I'll put them back away. So now, with our hundred and odd, oh, that's an encoded pattern. Actually, let's put the encoded pattern in here and come over here again. And let's just move this enderium away like that. Phew, that was hard work. Actually, a bit of a stress, in fact, as it happens, because there used to be 11 minutes for that before it decomposed. Uh, half lived and killed you so right what I'm trying to do is to make this thing so we need 32 enderian turbines now that we need to make 
these. Let's, oh, that'll make four. Yes, that's right. So we can shift click those into that. And that'll give us 64. And then for that, we need how many, how many ingots of enderium do we need? Let's just see what we can do with that lot. So the turbine is again, where's it gone to? Come back. So we'd get eight of those for that one. So another four times of this will do the trick. Trick. So let's try that again. Let's look, we can do a recipe from here, of course. So we need the recipe of that one. Let's give it another. Oh, we run out now. So 40. So that'll we can clear that off, and we can put those in there, and we can do the recipe for this. But having done that, of course. The easiest way to do this now, of course, is to take this, turn this into a crafting recipe, clear that off, put one of those in here. Oh no, wrong way around, sorry. And let's see some more enderium ingots. We should do less enderium ingots this time. What should we do? We've got eight of those actually, oh, that's good. Enderium. Let's craft 11. 12. Oh, that's a good point. I haven't thought about that. Because I haven't got any way of taking this stuff out of here and putting it back into the system, which is what I should have done. Yeah, there they go. So it's doing one at a time. And I haven't got the recipe in there, have I? Which is the recipe for Enderium Ingot, that one. Oh. What happened there? That's strange. So what are we missing again? Maybe maybe twelve? No, that looks like it's going through. Tin, silver, platinum, good. Yep, good, good. Yep, we got twelve of those. That should be working. The lock it is though. Let's move that out of the way. Clear these two off because that that can cause. <laughs> it's got everything it needs, hasn't it? Plutonium. Ah, oh, it hasn't got any plutonium. It only needs one. So let's just take those out of there. very strange that should go out of there shouldn't it come into here we got 16 that means two oh we got those so we need another one two three four Phew. It did work, it was just me being a... I don't know what. So the automation is working, but it's not perfect. We'll fix that next time, I think. So now, let's go over here and make these two recipes up, because it's easier that way. So, four of these is made by... Oh, in fact, I have to do it this way, don't I? Go up like this. That makes four. That's one recipe. And the next recipe... Let's clip those off. There's eight of those around an ingot. So now we can go and find out better. It looks like it's not going to work perfectly. I have to do some more enderium stuff, but let's just put those into here. So we should be able to do these 
reasonably well. If we are for one at a time, it might not be too bad. Let's put those in those. Now we should be able to craft one of these next and start that. And then we should be able to do this. Double check what we've actually got in here. Crafting status, good. No crafting jobs active. Okay, good. Let's craft. Come back to that and then craft another one of these. I've still got enough of those in, in the system. How many have we got at the moment? It says none in here. I'll just check this one because this one should be just 11 pieces. And 11 pieces. Oh. I might miss done that one. Let's have a quick check. Um, crafting. Crafting underpulls. Oh yes, okay, fine. So this looks like this is going to take a little bit of time do all this crafting and then the production of this so what I really want to do is then I'm going to move it downstairs this this setup and I'll feed it one stack at a time into here so it doesn't get blocked again see we're getting tin in now we're getting all the materials in and one goes out actually if that's going to work that way that's just fine because you'll see here it's going through because I've got none of the material the end poles aren't ready they're coming through one at a time, which is great. What we can then do, of course, is to remove this. This is just a, an AMI interface. We don't need that on there. And we can bring this down onto this chest. We'll bring it down here, I think. Let's just dig this out of here like that. Put two cables down here, glass cables. Put an import bus onto that. Storage bus, um, what bus is there? They'll get sucked in, like that. And the recipe itself should actually get made. Fantastic, actually that's gonna be, that's gonna work just fine. So how many have we got now? 14, and probably what's in here, 15. We'll have one of those in a minute, I reckon. Yes, 15. So what do we need now? We need 17 of those. Let's just craft 17. I should craft 20 minus three. And start that. So that should work. We've got enough materials. So they'll come into here and they'll slowly come through. And I think it's not going to block this time, which is excellent. Because it's not going to do it until each ender pearl gets made. So the ender pearls are coming in there nicely now. Filled it up completely. Right, one ender pearl is going to get melted or formed. Then it's going to come into here like that and make an ingot. Ingot's going to go in there. So we now should be able to see the crafting actually working nicely. Let's have a look at this. 900 under powders. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. There's about five minutes left of the video that I'd like to do, but I'm not going to, I don't think these are going to, oh, it says two minutes 50. But I think that's, a, it's going to be the ender pulse which is going to slow this down a bit. Yeah, it's going to be three minutes 17. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a quick pause and then come back in a few seconds when it's all completed. See you now. Well, it's nearly finished now. It's taken quite a long time to do. And in the meantime, what I've been doing is I've been extending that quarry so it would uh, go out. So we're just waiting for this last one to come in for things done. Right, that's just making some overclockers. So now I should have our 32. So we've got 32 of those. I've broken down that and we've got the steel hole. 
Let's go and put those into the uh, machine here. One steel hull, 32 of those, plus one draconium ingot. Should allow us to make, oh, it makes an enderium turbine and a gas turbine controller. It's the one we want. How many, how many RFs that got to do? 660 million. That'll take a few seconds, but not so long, I don't think. I'd like to finish this anyway, make sure this is going to be done. It's going to take a little bit of time, yes. We've got some, oh yes, we're doing some, oh. Actually, that's fine. We don't mind about that, they're taking longer, because that's the one which is priority. So it's going to take a few seconds to do. I'll tell you what. We'll have a quick look upstairs while I'm, while that's happening. So what I, all I did with the quarry is I just basically extended it all the way out to the 256 in all directions. So now it's busy quarrying across. As you can see, it's just a little bit bigger. So we basically want to get the moon turf because we need the moon turf because I was looking at the ender pearl situation and it's not looking so good. 456 ender pearl powder. But now we've got quite a lot of moon turf, so let's have a look at moon. We've got 8,000 moon turf, which will give us, well, 8,700. And that's going up all the time, of course, as, as it goes across that huge area. Um, I think we've got more than enough moon rock for the time being. So it doesn't matter too much that we're doing that that way. So that's that. How's this thing doing? Oh, it's going to take a few seconds. I'll tell you what, I'll come back when that's nearly completed. Well, we've nearly finished. I seem to have a GPU warning here, so my machine is very busy at the moment. And when this is finished, we'll actually claim the reward and then we'll call it a day. So, it's not going to take more than a few seconds, I suppose, now. Making me curious as to wonder why they're getting the GPU warning when I'm doing nothing. Anyway. Here we go. Job done. So now we can actually remove the one. We only ever want one of those. So let's go and collect it out of the system. There it is. One gas turbine controller. Detected the quest. That was just a look. I was looking at that one. We haven't done that one. That's not. Doesn't look too difficult. What I'm thinking about doing here is cheating this one in because I can't get that to work. And I don't know why. Quests. We want, uh, I think it's take flight, isn't it? Yes. So now we can claim the reward. And done. And the next one we'll do is this one. I'm not going to try and do this one yet because the fuel, I'll show you why in a second. We'll do the, this one here, which is a fuel tank. So if we have a look at fuel air mixer, which is this thing over here, I think, heating component, heat exchange, this one. It needs 16 titanium holes. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. And this one shouldn't be too bad, actually, because we've got five from a gift. So that's it, I think, for this episode. That's just a... It's been quite actually quite a long time to finish all of this off. Oops. So anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best and bye for now.